Hi there! I'm going to do a tutorial for a Miriam's Cross Carry with a eyelet finish. Um, so it's going to be a knotless eyelet finish, which is essentially a shoulder to shoulder finish, but it has a loop in the shoulder part instead of it going straight across, uh, which is super, super fancy. Plug my phone in. Okay. And um, I'm going to use my brand new Didymos wrap, which is a nice thin wrap, great for summer, and it's good for carries like this. And I am going to start just a little bit off center. Um, starting from the middle marker in the middle of my chest, I'm going to measure to my armpit. And that is where baby's going to start, if I can get him. Piper, can you get out of the way so I can get the baby? I made my seat and I forgot which side was short, so I just looked. Okay. So I'm going to uh, lower him. This is a pretty low carry, Miriam's. And I'm going to strand by strand tighten. And then the shorter side is the side that I'm going to start with. So it's going to go under baby's leg, just like a regular Miriam's. We're going to start with a cross pass. So please be careful with your wiggly babies because this side is open right now, which is why I like to put my arm across that side. And I'm gonna tuck this side under. And then, bring this side up. And then I'm gonna do this. So I think a hammock cross pass. to just make sure that this hammocked bit kind of comes up between us so that this waist belt can be nice and wide, which is more comfortable. Um, I'm going to fix the seat. You need to go inside right now? Okay, she's on my sliding glass. Or you're on my sliding glass door. Okay, go. Okay. So now, I'm just going to do strand by strand tightening. This is already really snug. Um, if it wasn't and there was any slack, I would be doing my V poles, my top rail V pole, whole wrap V pole that and uh, bottom rail people but this carry or any carry with a waist belt can easily be over tightened to be uncomfortable so the only part that I feel maybe a tiny bit of slack is the top rail so I'm just gonna kind of it's just a 
heating it out a little bit there. Um, now it feels really snug. This can be very uncomfortable if it's too snug. So I don't like to over tighten and waste belt. Um, okay, so now this shorter um, tail is gonna come under my arm. Make sure all of this is snug. Okay, so now we're going to be doing a knotless um, finish. So I'm gonna go over and normally with this, it would go over and then down. But I find, I mean, with this wrap, it doesn't matter because I have a long enough tail, but I'm gonna show you my trick. Anyway, if your tail is a bit shorter to the point where you can't pin it between your knees, mine's plenty long, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I'm gonna go down and then up. So we have a half knot. It's gonna have to be fixed later with the loop, but at least for now, it's secured. And then I'm gonna kinda tighten up this tail so that it, this is nice and snug through here. And this is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and and just skirt between my knees, but you don't have to because it's a half knot. And um, so now, um, this is going to become a loop for the eyelet. So it is important now to not over tighten this. This is going to be a shoulder flip pass. So. And just make sure that we flip it. So if you have a two-sided wrap, this is the dark side, this side is gonna be the light side now. And I kind of like to hold it here just to get a sense of how much slack I need while I'm passing this over baby's back. And then I'm gonna hand it to my other hand. And then I kind of pinned this while I was doing that with my chin, just so I have enough slack to do this. Because if you don't have enough slack, this eyelet closes up and you don't get that nice little circle. So I'm gonna hold this in my mouth while I deal with this bottom row. So now I've worked on that bottom rail. I got my thumb in the eyelet while I work on this strand by strand tightening because it's very easy to over tighten this. You need enough slack in this, but you also don't want it to be slacky and uncomfortable. Okay, so. Now I've strand by strand tightened this sling pass and I'm gonna go find it easier just reach in here and grab. And I've twisted it already. So I don't have to get to that, but here we go. Okay, now is the part where we fix this. So I don't need that half knot anymore. We're good, I can bring this down. And I'm just going to tighten the rails. And then I'll tighten the middle of the wrap. And then I kind of like stick my finger in the 
eyelet and kind of fold it on the inside. So this part kind of comes back. And then I keep spreading this. So now that's the top, that's the middle. There's that slacking piece. And then this is the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna fold it into the eyelet. Find that rail and pull it that way so that everything, oops, that's the other tail. Wonderful. Now I'm gonna start doing some tucking into the bottom of this chest pass. Because ultimately, both of these tails are gonna go into the waist belt. My skirt is getting mixed up in here. If you have an issue with chokiness, it may feel a little choky for you. It's not that bad for me because I made this eyelet nice and open. If you didn't allow that slack, it might be even more choky. Um, my daughter is making faces at me in the mirror, or I mean in the window. Okay, so here we go. Make this my shirt too. Readjusting a little bit. I like it when it comes up higher. Too much. And there you have it. 